So in this video, we're once again going to talk about the Worksman Cycle Dual Trike. Now, in my most recent previous video with this bike, I installed an electric hub motor onto the bike. And you can see in that video, I had to do a couple modifications to make this kit fit. So I finished the video, I posted the video. After some time, the second kit, I did the second bike. Everything in that kit just fit like a glove. So I had some contact with Worksman Cycle back and forth emailing. And they sent me out a whole new kit here. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to redo the kit on this bike. In the end, both bikes should match. And I'll return this kit back to Worksman Cycle. All right, let's get started. All right, we're just going to unpack our boxes, make sure everything matches. This will be our battery here. What I'm more concerned about is that front hub tire. Of course, this is going to be our controller and our other things there. See, it's packed quite nicely here. I'm just going to do a quick check here with the... Looks like that bat, the cable's going to be long enough. Everything seems to be looking good here. Keep this box to ship the other tire back. Now what I want to see if the screen on the handlebars is the same as the one for our other bike. Because currently it seems like we've got two different models of kits. Quickly compare it with this one. Key dispense. It appears like it's the same screen as the bike with the kit that worked perfectly. So I think we're good to go. I'm just going to swap all the parts we got with the parts currently on the bike. And we should be good. Alright, same as our previous video. See, I got these. Let me move this new part out of the way. Alright, same as our previous video. See how I got these springs that stabilize your steering? Well, the new hub motor fork and wheel doesn't come with that little black bracket. So what I did in the previous video, I removed that bracket and just installed it on the new one. We're just going to start off by releasing the tension on these springs and unhook these springs. And then we'll start working on everything else. Take a 7 16 wrench, just loosen that nut, pull that spring toward you. So I just released that nut all the way to the end of the thread. That should give me enough to release that spring. Just like that. We'll do the same on the other side. Now we're, I'm just going to cut all the zip ties where I have all our cables tied up and things. Our next move, I got to take the handlebars off and the brake cable. So I just want everything to come off smoothly. I'll take the uh, monitor, the controller off here and work my wiring all the way down just so we can release the front wheel from the frame here. We're going to leave the gear cable here tie wrapped to the post with the adjuster. All right. Okay, we just undid the cable for our brake. So that should come off with the front wheel. Now I want to take this monitor off and our controller button here and this brake cable also has to come off because it's going to come off with the front wheel so what i got are these you can see a three mil allen wrench we're going to loosen that and we're going to loosen the one here for this controller just and we're going to remove all that all right now that we got that released we're going to undo these connectors the electrical connectors Okay, got that released. Now we got a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. We're going to undo the bracket for our, our little button for our controller. And what I'll do, I'll just put our all our Allen wrenches back in the holes here so we don't lose them. All right, now we're going to release our brake handle here with a red Robertson. Take that off and it should be ready to come off with the front wheel. Now the, diff the difficult part now, I need to slide this brake 
off along with this throttle lever, which I gotta unplug the the connections for both the brake cable and the throttle controller. But the handle grip is now tightened right onto the handlebar, so I need to try to get that off. So I guess just brute strength, try to take it off. If not, I'm going to have to cut it off. All right, I can uh, budge that grip, so I ended up cutting it off. But take my throttle piece off here. Now we can slide the brake cable right off, just like that. The speed controllers we're just going to leave on the handlebars but now oh and i also need to release the electrical cable for the front hub motor follow that cable cut whatever zip ties they need to cut to access it now we got our brake cable and our hub motor this is both going to come off with the front wheel now what i'm going to do 15 millimeter wrench we're going to loosen this bolt here. This is like an internal clamp that clamps inside of the sleeve for your steering. Once that's loose, wiggle that handlebar off like that. All right, now that I got the handlebar removed, I might as well take off that bracket right now that we're using to clip our springs onto from there because the new wheel doesn't have that bracket, so I'm just going to take it from this bike and put it on here. All right. And take our little bracket off for the springs, install it on this one. There, I installed that tiny bracket on the new fork before I installed it on the bike. It's just easier. All right, now we're going to take the old fork off the bike here. What we're going to do, a pair of channel locks. We're going to crack that nut loose at the top and I'm just going to give this knurled piece a little turn with the channel locks. All right, we're going to take this nut right off. We're going to do the same on our new one. We're going to take the knurled piece out of here off the new one along with the washers that are sitting on top of it. Just keep everything in order. Now there's a small washer and a larger washer. Just keep everything together. Now on the shaft, you have two bearings. We're going to take one off. All right, let's go back to our old bike here. Same thing. We're going to remove this knurled piece and the two washers. All right, set that here down. Now... We're going to re release our old bike. There. Now we can see the bottom bearing came off with the wheel. The upper bearing is still inside the housing here. So we're just going to reuse that. We'll get our new hub wheel here. Make sure our bottom bearing sitting on the, the end. I'm going to lift the bike. Set this one inside. Kind of center it out there. Now we kept our knurled piece here with our two washers. We're just going to start tightening that in. Once you get your knurled piece down far enough, you'll see that our smaller washer has a little nub on it there, and that's going to line up with the keyway on that shaft. You'll see a spot that runs down without any thread. We're going to sit that in there. We're going to tighten this down. Now we need those bearings to kind of sit in their position, so I'm just going to lift the bike. Wiggle it around a little bit while you're turning that knurled piece on. There. Once you kind of got everything in place, should be good. Just for good measure, I'm just going to tighten that knurled piece with the channel locks. Just give it a little, just a little turn. 
a little bit just make sure make sure that spins free then what this is going to do is just lock everything in place just like that okay now we'll set our handlebars back in Go to your desired height, and then we'll tighten it in with this. Now here's where you want to line it up with your front wheel. What I generally do, I'll pinch the front wheel with my knees and then lock it in. Now that looks pretty good. Now our brake cable, you can see it's proper length. I can now mount that to our handlebar. All right, I'm just going to leave this bracket loose for now. Now what I'm going to do is take this control box off and then I'm going to remove the battery. There, I got the battery, the controller, everything completely stripped. The only thing that's new now is the new hub motor with the brake cable running up. Now what I'm going to do is take our new kit, start installing everything. So we got our monitor, we got some cables. We get our control box. We know we're going to mount that under the seat down here. So much easier when you've done this before. Okay, what's different is we got a light with this kit. So that's going to be mounted up where that reflector is. Okay, we got our throttle piece here. That's going to go on right here. And of course our monitor is going to be mounted in the same spot we have on the second bike here. It's a good benefit to having uh, two bikes like this because you can see our configuration here. We got we got our grip, we got our throttle, we got our little control buttons there, we got our brake, and we got our monitor. And you can see how I just monitored the mounted the monitor on this side of that pole. Everything else is on that side. So on this bike, we're going to do the same thing: monitor here, brake, throttle. So I'll do that now. All right, now we're going to work on our cable connections. Of course, this cable is going to hook up to our controller under our seat. And this end is going to be everything up on the handlebars. Everything's color-coded. Blue, I'm just going to line up with the blue. I went into a little more detail on the other video when I did this part. And we're going to run this down. We're going to need a lot of tie wraps just to neaten all your cables up. And keep in mind when your cables come down here and down on this bar, make sure you have full rotation of your handlebars. So this particular kit came with a front light, which is pretty cool. So that's going to connect to this red connector. Right like that. I'm going to mount that right up there. Just loosen off this. There, we got everything mounted on the handlebars. We got all our wires run down. We got our hub wire coming up and over. We tie wrapped everything down to the post. <coughs> kind of straddled around where the pedals go. And then we mounted that controller box to the post. I used about four big tie wraps to fasten that to the post of the bike. Now it's a matter of mounting our battery. And this job should be done. Now here's the new battery that came with the kit. Right here. So every battery is going to come with its own charger and the cord to plug it in. Every battery is going to have the key. Like you saw in the disassembly, you turn that key to slide it out of the bracket.
and here's a new battery. Just want to keep in mind, I got the right kind of connector that matches the connector on the bike, which it is. Now we're going to put our key in, rotate it, pull our battery from the holder. Ugh. Now we'll go mount this to the bike. Now for the final step here, mounting the battery, just a matter of that piece here sliding into here. Lock it in with the key. We are good to go. All right, so we got both bikes here complete. Electric motors are installed. So after contacting Worksman Cycle, I got that new kit fit on the second bike just perfectly. I'm gonna return that other one back. I got both bikes. We're gonna get some driving time on these. I'll come back to you with a, another video just to review Currently, we were out on the bikes quite a bit, and the electric motors help out a lot. I'll get more specific in the next video. I hope this video helps you if you're installing an electric kit on your bike. We'll see you on the next one.